What's going on, guys? Um, we're back with another episode of, uh, what's this game called, Zach? I love you, Colonel Sanders, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, yeah, I've got my boy with me, Zach. Say hi, Zach. Okay. Sound okay. just as sexy as ever, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, let's get right into it, guys. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. You must have hoped to get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. <laughs> you want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel the covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. I wish Imagine I, if I wish the whole just... thing was just like a rape scenario. <laughs> I, wish, I wish the colonel would just would just get, get in bed and just snuggle up next to me. Good night, my sweet colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders for some reason. Or, no, you're in your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love, and dreams are weird. Give Sprinkles a voice sack. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> They're all riding on uh, chicken wings. And they're just the ghost. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the He's just the chilling. Sheet over yeah. his head. Yeah. You right, wake on two. day two in an attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the enc encounter with the sport monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know it might. this might sound strange, but I think I might be, um... She's gonna say she's in love with Pop. <laughs> I think I might like Pop. Oh my god. Dude, Pop's a, Pop's a bad bitch, what can I say? Yeah. <laughs> like him? Like, like, like? I know, it sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. Pop is a sexy bitch. This is like... Nathan as a yeah, chick yeah. if she was good at anything in life. <laughs> good thing Nathan doesn't watch these videos. Yeah. It's your go, Zach. Yeah. We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He, to he told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sick. I bet Pop just has a huge cock. <laughs> you know it. He's gotta make up for the height somehow. You two are the only two in the world that know. Make up a fake ingredient. We can't sell the colonel. We can't sell the colonel out. It's very boring. Yeah, no. But then again, if we did... I already chose the fake ingredient. It's too late. <laughs> you quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about... It was Eye of Newt. I know. Sounds like some kind of witch's potion. But what can you do? Eye of Newt? Wow. Her eyes light up. <laughs> such a thing and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. Probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. The wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. Here comes Pop. It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving it's at the Pop. school. Yeah, it was just Pop. Sexy ass. <laughs> Stand back and admire his... We run to him, right? He's our bae. He's our bae. Bye, yeah. bye. And he's on a horse. You Six decide that the best way to show Miriam how serious you and Colonel Sanders are will be to run to him. Maybe we should have. Surely he'll sweep you onto the back of his stallion and you'll ride away together. That'll show her good. Oh, Colonel. My Colonel. <laughs> oh, shit. However, your sudden movement surprised the horse hearing herself <laughs> kicking you in the face. The horse in the blood so we're completely just dead. knocks you out cold. <laughs> so we're just in the dead. darkness, you see a vision. Ooh, <laughs> thick senpai, I'm here to deliver you a message. Not this guy. It is important that you remember this exactly how I, as I say it. If you forget, the world could end. So you know it's serious. This was this guy was your Napoleon voice. Yeah. Should I should I continue with the Napoleon? Yeah, just go ahead and continue now? the ghost. It's just. Oh. You were, even when he was a ghost last time. I was too easy to Napoleon. Napoleon voice. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trapped in a realm beyond. But a great prophecy relies on my return. <laughs> Only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times. And that 
name is. But before we can continue, you suddenly awake. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, We're gonna find out this dude's name at the very end, and it's just gonna be game changing. Yeah. It's like you he's to find Colonel Sanders just a billionaire. It's Popeyes. He roused you back to the life with a satchel of secret spices, or is that just his natural seasoned musk? <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, ejaculated. <laughs> That's how he woke you up. <laughs> Compliment the craftsmanship think, of his horse's hooves or lean in for I a think kiss. we lean in for a kiss. Let's, let's be honest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the Are course, you really sure? I guess you must be. Hit again. You put your arms around Colonel Sanders' neck and pull him in for a kiss. <gasps> oh no, Colonel. Colonel, no. No, Colonel. Can we go back? Game over, try again. Yeah, we try again, we try again. Fuck, dude, we've hit all the right answers up until now. I, I'm, I think. We're getting maybe. that ass. <laughs> Colonel Sanders? Fuck. Oh, we gotta go all the way back okay. to day two. Alright, okay, uh, stand so... back and admire his majestic glory. Yeah, we're gonna just admire his glory. We don't wanna get kicked we're in the not, face. Yeah, we're not gonna go to him because he needs to come to us. Colonel, Sa that's a good, that's a good call, Zach. I didn't think about that. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. You are so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. Oh my God. <laughs> Still got it, baby. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. <sighs> what a horseful beaut you have. I mean, what a horseful beaut you have. But dang it, that's what I just said. Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh, six and high. Just get real gets really nervous around people they like. Dude, my cat almost just fucked my printer up. <laughs> that would have sucked. What? This is not helping. When you enter the classroom, you see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van. They're doing something really bad. By the way you're, they're hiding, you know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad, experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad. You try to get a peek over at Van Van's hulking shoulder, <laughs> but he sees you coming. Whoa there, little one. Wait, what was my Van Van voice? Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Exactly. Why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? Uh, I'm kind of interested in what they're doing, though. Uh, Act get like... closer and look. Yeah, yeah. You sit near the rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van mutter something that sounds a bit like a magic spell. However, he notices you eavesdropping. You try to cover your tracks and improvise an excuse. <coughs> it's time for class, and you're distracting the rest of us who want to learn. Miriam, you might want to say excuse me next time. Now you've upset them. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? Damn man just shit his pants. <laughs> I'm not That's sure you know a good like meal. Super Saiyan. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure you know a good meal if it ate you. <laughs> Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. Panache. I pretty, I think it takes it a lot of shit. It takes. I think swag. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. <laughs> Oh, that's definitely the Van Van voice. <coughs> yeah. You finally get a look at what they're hiding, and you instantly recognize it. It's a book, just like the one you found after your encounter with the sport monster. That's the same book I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. This book is a family heirloom, and its contents are secret. You notice that they haven't been studying the book. They've got Pop pinned to the wall, and the tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing! <laughs> <laughs> Whose bands is this? 
You want to pay attention to the lesson. Truly, you do. Which is why in 1776, at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken <laughs> signed their name. <laughs> but you can't help but daydream about the colonel. And you miss most of the important parts. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, Six Empire? Naturally, this appears. This appears to you to be a simple platter. Which item do you want to sample? Shimmering, a shimmering pumpkin. Have a pepper. Uh, I feel like a dog. I think he wants the dog biscuit, right? Yeah. I feel like we the go water. with the pepper. All right. To show how alpha we are. Yeah. A brightly colored pepper stands out to you from the other items and sparkles in a most eye-catching way. So naturally, you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. However, your body's not prepared for the heat. It's the pepper has triggered pepper. you into an intense spice hallucination. It feels like forever as you trip through the universe. My friend. Napoleon. This guy again. It's just Napoleon. <laughs> I'm here to here give to you give an you important, important message. message. <laughs> you must you avenge, must avenge my, death my death and fulfill, fulfill your destiny. destiny. All you oh, must do is. <coughs> I will, I will save, save you to fulfill, fulfill your, your destiny. destiny. All, All you, you must, must do is. <coughs> Sorry, I think I've got some spice stuck in my throat. <coughs> it's, it's fine. fine. All the work through. <coughs> to fulfill <coughs> the prophecy, <coughs> you, you must. must. You feel yourself beginning to regain consciousness. Oh, man. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. The pepper was the last of its kind on Earth, and now it's gone forever. That was Think my idea. Yeah. Oh shit, my bad. Here, just, uh, just, <laughs> nah, you're good. Okay. You're good. Go ahead. You think to yourself, "Geez, I should pay better attention." Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim, and your rivals. Enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive cook-off. The level of theatrics of these two is off the charts. Demand that they stop. You're on. We don't back down yeah. for no challenge. Yeah. We ain't no fucking beta males. We we're about to make them our bitch. A bit of a bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If I have to wipe the tables with you fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. Good one, Van Van. I like your competition. Thick senpai. I'll be watching over your performance. With an erection, of course. Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face. Flashing the words, timer ready. Think fast. It's a timer run sound you'll be forced to pick randomly. Uh, it always boils 100 seconds after you turn the heat on. It's 100, uh, right? It's Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, that's wrong. Get your head in the game. You're gonna need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs and spices did you say he 11. used? Eleven. Eleven? Okay, good. Good job. I wasn't paying attention. You might not know all the ingredients yet, but at least you're heading in the right direction. Tail wagging intensifies. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. What set of mind offers the most flavor? Vigil Vigilance? That's wrong? Gratitude. Uh, I'm begging you to oh. put it together. Get it? I'm a dog. It's never the wrong time for- Oh shit, that's you, my bad. You can- you can say For it. some dog jokes. Next question. Your classmates are rooting for you, but Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You'd better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day, you meditate on his advice and draw energy from that place. Uh, where does it come from? Um, a small town where um, big dreams are born, right? Yep. Oh, I didn't That's get That's wrong? To... What? How can you, can you possibly recover from so many wrong answers? Nope. Game over. Fuck you. Oh. We try again. We go again. Yeah. I, it better not restart at the beginning of the day. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius? Celsius? Eleven. This goes super spices. hard. Oh my gosh. 
What state of mind gives you the most flavor? Gratitude. It's not the shoulder of Orion, right? Deep beneath the surface. All of them are wrong. Yeah, I don't think you can win this because it gets to where you have to answer questions in like three seconds and you just can't do it. What's the sound of success? Sizzling. Nope. I believe in you, Thick Senpai. Colonel Sanders. One desert cookbook. What do you take? What a hunk. <laughs> what, wedding vows, of course. Go ahead and read it. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights. Taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. So our, our By the way, that would kill the dog, because that's chocolate. Yeah, they have to eat a lot of chocolate. I was going to ask Rias Remery to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this Kramer delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Is that enough chocolate to kill him? <laughs> I don't think so. That looks pretty gross. Yeah, I don't know. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried croquet atop a slice of honeycomb. Ice cream, I don't know that. It looks pretty cool. tender nougat, I'd give and it a shot. pearls of blueberry jelly. I mean, I'd try it. It's yeah. just like, I wasn't expecting a honeycomb. <laughs> yeah. The honeycomb probably tastes good. The cheese is what. Yeah. Yeah. Simplicity is your strong. Fried so. cheese. Is it, Ashley? Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> As he places a soft covered, a sauce covered finger onto his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Okay. I think we internalize the rage because <coughs> we're gonna like we let it out and go super L. sane. Yeah. Yeah. We don't embarrass ourselves anymore. Your, your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. <laughs> flames cause you to oh. I think we lost. Oh no, okay, it just burned our eyebrows off. What the fuck? <laughs> Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You think this is what chicks think whenever... I know you're hurting right now. Not just from that devastating loss, but from that run-in with the mixer and that small fire. We should get that checked out. I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fryer. <laughs> I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you. For all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? He doesn't want to be a master chef either. He just wants to open a bunch of food chains. That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome. Successful. Motivated. Well, handsome, sure. I was born that way. <laughs> but I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. A tear is filling your eye. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. That one was especially humili humiliating. Humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I lost my business partner to a gunfight. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've always got it together. Which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I've resolved that I was going to amount to something. Again. <laughs> no matter, no amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving it the best I have to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that 
every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Pops just vibing, dude. Just as your moment goes intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before, you prepare for the worst. It's the sport Fork monster! Monster's back. Porco? <coughs> it is I! I know I said I wouldn't be back after the whole fight to the death thing. Maybe you don't really want to see me anymore, but I just wanted to say that I was wrong to attack you. I apologize. It's like having to look, it's like having to always look over your shoulder. Monster problems, am I right? Aw, oh, thanks, Borco. I'm glad there are no hard feelings. <laughs> Getting jumped by a giant creature in the dark of night can really rile a person up. I also want to apologize for the way that I switched right into attack mode. I know that I know that you're strong, and cooking school can put a person under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to the school. I wasn't always a spork monster, you see. <laughs> I don't believe it. You were human once? Well, no, I was a golden retriever, but I was still a student. Until one day, some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. A magic spell book? Precisely. They're trying to transform our professor. I had to procure I had procured a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way, I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect me. You're a powerful chef, and you shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you shouldn't be you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I will be there. It sounds like there's some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Thick senpai. Together I'm sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Is he gonna have like a KFC cave? KFC you know, like a bat cave? cave. <laughs> like a chicken cave? A personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like. It sounds like you're about to find out. Stepping inside the Sanders' home, surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. The chicken! <laughs> you see the baby with the beard! <laughs> <laughs> he just came out like that! <coughs> He's got a YouTube play button on the wall. Kentucky. It looks like you. Oh wait, no, my bad. It looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Is he living like the swamp? <laughs> He's got like a a lake view. Long ago. Yeah, but look, that's like the green stuff around like swamps and stuff. I think it's just the film that's on top of like ponds and shit. Okay. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, and never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. <coughs> well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish Some might be Some thaw mac and cheese. It's meant to pair with something spicy, or something crispy. Both, perhaps? It's a biscuit. Now you've got it right where you want it. Yeah. Should you reveal your new creation to him? I mean, he yeah. was honest yeah. with us about the... Yeah. You decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in headfirst. You reach into your lunch bag for a special <laughs> dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I present to you, my original coleslaw. The shredded cabbage oh. disc glistens. This is like the worst one. Glistens in the I light of like Colonel Sanders. Yeah, I don't either. Glist the shredded cabbage disc glisten. It's fuck. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders. Looks your hideaway. <gasps> or Lux hideaway. Whatever. Magnificent. <laughs> Together, you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on? It's the last bite. I like to have it around so I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. He's gonna steal our cold flaw. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. He's gonna stick in his ass. <laughs> you realize that just now to keep it, it warm? Yeah, to go straight to the bloodstream, yeah. 
I realized that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Around the room are various items that you, you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap an item to discover more about the kernel. Oh, shit. Uh, I think we gotta go with the chicken first. Yes, of course. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on the corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic, it's real. <laughs> Chicken's just been by my... <laughs> Taxidermy. Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when it was alive. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state of bird of the great... Ki the true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Tap an item to discover more about the Colonel. I'm thinking the, uh... The baby picture, right? Yeah. An adorable the one little lady. baby boy crawls across the floor from the... <laughs> From the goatee and the mustache combo he sports, you figure that must be the Colonel Sanders himself. That or maybe it, it's the drumstick. He seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded. Am I right? Let's, I'm going to do the thing on the left. Uh, this must be, must be where he keeps button. his secret recipe. You yeah. think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders? Then it draws on you. Dial 111111. The safe opens. You find a single note. Hmm. Can chicken be prepared? What is that? Sashimi style? Yeah. Oh shit, shit. The door just opened. Let's let's look at. I think that's the next thing. Let's look at the. Yeah, door, I think. Or the, the urn. You take a closer look at the large urn sitting on the nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you can read the inscription. It says, here lie the ashes of all my past care careers and business failures. Damn. Poor guy. I'm gonna look out uh, I'ma look outside. You gaze out the window across the vast lake and the mountain range beyond. Just then the ghost of student pops up. <laughs> oh you thinking about betting in the world on a conquest to avenge my death. <laughs> Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I go to avenge you? I could just tell just you tell my, my name, name right, right now. now. <laughs> Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? <coughs> Poor you dude. open the window and a crack. You open the window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with a breeze. I think we just. I say door. we. Or I say we just go with the little things on oh. the table and oh, then yeah, the two yeah. pictures. There's... We might as well just do them all. Yeah. There's a, a lock of silver hair is woven <laughs> through the teeth of the comb. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair isn't there in just a silvery color. It's actually made of spun silver. Damn. Tap an item. A scented candle. A scented candle. You pick it up to identify the smell. Power it's tool. probably chicken. Oh. Freshly starched collar. <laughs> Piece of wood floating in a lake. Summer of 69? No. Oh, I, it's the one I secret, wonder what summer of 69. It's one of the secret in recipe ingredients. It's blank. Tap on an item to discover more about the kernel. Uh, the picture of him with the other dude. Yeah. One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders standing with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and it appears to be choosing them. Or, and they appear to be choosing them. I don't see drumsticks in that picture, but whatever. If you look closely, you see there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. <laughs> Wait, is this Colonel Sanders looks so young. The photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the Pyramid of Egypt? Maybe this is where he discovered one of his secret herbs and spices. Alright, it's time for the door. But, we're going to open this door on the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video a whole lot. Um, I got my Twitch linked down in the description. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.